What keeps you awake lying in bed at night? What's going to happen to me? I am currently caregiving for my husband post-strokes. Assuming I outlive him, I don't know if I will be able to afford my current home. And I certainly won't have enough money to buy something else. I don't want to live in an all-people ghetto. And any place I'd like to move to is millionaire. Territory now. Could I move in with my daughter? Her husband wouldn't like it. And they are talking about moving to Costa Rica. I don't want to move to Costa Rica. So I guess I will have to consider the Vermont solution. Man. Should have just been honest with Chloe about her cooking. That fish. Blue quartz that sound. Is it the baby? Nah. Just my imagination. 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 It wa. Brain is singing to the cranberries. I am hungry. HMM what's to eat? Chips. Ice cream. Sandwich. Oh Lucy R. Project do TMR. Mental note remind her lunch for TMR though. Cook or takeaway. There's this meeting call at 11am. And it goes on and on and on. My brain right now. When I was little, like single digits I was friends with a family friend's daughter. I would get really upset and frustrated. As she always seemed so amazing and perfect and school perfect with making friends perfect with. Sports. I was so upset one day I told my parents I wish she would break her neck. This past week she broke her neck. It feels like it's my fault. Why would I say something like that? Why? I feel so guilty. Thankfully it went as well as it could go. It was a clean break and she's doing okay. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light for a time. I rest in the grace of the world and aim free. Wendelberry. The time I was driving a new car from work home in torrential rain, saw a cyclist in his t-shirt struggling, stopped and asked if he wanted a ride as we were headed the same direction. He seemed really grateful. I told him to put the bike in the boot trunk and hop in, except I spent a minute or two trying frantically to find a way to open my boot but couldn't work it out, had to awkwardly tell him I didn't know how to open it, apologised and gave his bike back, got in my car and drove away. Thinking about how downhill life is and that despite earning what used to be a good wage now can barely cover rent and utilities and that my car is broken down with a mechanic that can't figure out the issue and just keeps trying the same thing over and over. Since I'm in pain 24 7 this car helps me get to and from work so now I'm in more pain and I stay up thinking about how I can never get a break from shit going wrong all the time. I try to make good decisions but things keep fucking up. Why? Right now. I feel like life is moving too fast. All my best friends have moved on. They now care about different things while I feel I haven't. I miss the old friendships. School's moving too fast. People are dropping out and I'll probably never see some people again. I will be alone when I'm out of school. And I'll have to get a job which I'm not ready to commit to. When people say high school moves fast, they mean it. As a kid I guess you don't truly understand some could call it ignorance. I have PTSD. But sometimes just the thought of going to sleep and risking the chance of having a dream is enough to keep me awake. It's not very common anymore, but I can usually feel it coming kinda whenever I am dealing with a lot in life. So I tend to just stay awake all night for those nights. That way I don't wake up the next day in a bad mood. Instead I just feel tired, then go to sleep early the next day and get the rest I needed, kinda. Of my problems. But I currently also have a job that's lenient with me. Doesn't care if I'm late so long as I get the work done. And I make fairly decent to do things like be on raid it during the day. Thinking about everything. How I'm going to pay my bills. 
and I didn't get any overtime at work for this paycheck. How I'll never retire. How I've been worrying about money for as long as I can remember. But somehow still made it this far so I'll be okay. How dreaming of winning the lottery doesn't get me anywhere and will always just be a dream. My brain goes through everything and anything. But it usually ends up being about money. Why abilities? Lack of faith in my steadfastness towards my values. The constant thought that I forgot something. My concern that I may not be empathetic enough. My memories of lost love. Past betrayals. Never mind it's my pillow. I need a new pillow. The thought of the nonsense of existence itself. The fact that one day everything will be over. Not just for me but for all living beings. The fact that all that happens, all that has ever happened and all that will happen have no real importance. Since it is all destined to fade away. So why do we put so much effort? So much passion? So much anxiety in our daily life? Knowing that there is little to no hope for my life to turn into what I was promised as a child. Went to college. Found work in a professional environment in healthcare. No chance at owning a home. Probably gonna end up dink dual income. No kids not by choice. And will be working well into my 70s if I make it there to afford necessities. Thinking about the world my generation is handing off to our children and grandchildren. Between the environmental and political situations things look pretty bad. I'm worried for myself too. But if events kill me I'm in my late 60s. My children are midlife. And my grandchildren are at the very beginning they've got far more to lose. That any law which is punishable by fines really only hurts lower socio-economic people. Which means that the more money you have, the less you have to care about following the law. This seems obvious. But have you ever stopped to consider how not okay that is when we call ourselves a free and just society? Overthinking for sure. Why didn't my last relationship work? Financial planning and debt. Getting on board late to retirement in my mid-thirties. Career switch. New gig sometimes what I'd hoped it'd be. Goals in life. Questioning my mental health and sanity in this economy. Family. Depression. Son. Last night it was because I had surgery earlier in the day. And it was very difficult to get comfortable without being in a lot of pain. Most nights it's either thinking about something stupid or my brain thinking about something I screwed up on while making me feel bad about it lol. PTSD. Some nights I relive my trauma. Mostly thinking of what my brother saw and felt the night he was murdered. Sometimes it's fear of toxic family finding me. Used to be fear of my uncle getting released and him coming to finish what he set out to do. That he's dead now thankfully. Bit of a night owl so I usually have to force myself to go to bed at some point. Because humans need sleep and all that. But if I didn't need sleep, I could happily keep busy and entertain myself 24-7. I always get in my own head about the vastness of the universe and how one day it will all be sucked into a black hole. I mean, I won't be there to see it and the human race won't, but it's way too much for me to comprehend and fills me with so much dread and fear. The fact that I let a guy take all of my firsts only for him to emotionally abuse me, cheat on me and just put me through hell for like a year now. I think I finally hit the wall though. I truly just want to heal and find someone who is going to treat me better. That I have one family member left elderly and aging that actually cares about me. I love them and will spend every waking moment with them because they are all I have left but one. Today I'll be alone again and I'll have no left that cares about my existence. Thinking about all the thousands of animals that are hurting and scared at this very moment that I can never help or do anything for and the awful things people do to them. My brain puts some awful images into my head I can't get out and it makes me sick. Nothing but my own bad choices using my phone or ingesting sugar. Those keep me up for 15 minutes with no chance of going to sleep afterwards. But if I don't have them I can literally fall asleep in 5 minutes from lying down. I can't nap though. Things like this. US Senate questions top social media execs on child safety. It's excitement or anticipation for something exciting happening the next day. And there are those nights when I just can't stop thinking about a good book or a movie I watch. And my brain keeps replaying it over and over. It's a mixed bag, really. Several things. 
some of the horrors of the Indian residential school I was in when I was six. The most heartbreaking was watching my daughter pass away from brain cancer and having to explain to my grandkids why their mummy is never coming home again. How close America is to historic levels of chaos and human suffering, and how many fellow Americans seem to be cheering it on. If people cry about being called fascist or Nazis maybe stop doing all the same shit. See it that fixes it. A lot of thoughts in my head. I can't sleep because I'm always thinking about something. In such cases I try to distract myself turn on YouTube and fall asleep to it. In the morning I always have some weird YouTube videos going on. My mum. She's been telling me that I'm a disappointment to my family law. Also if I'm going to my work tomorrow or attend the scheduled interview for another work near our hometown. My current work is five hours away from my hometown three. Yes indeed. I lay awake thinking about my entire life. The good the bad and the ugly. Way too much thinking. It may be because of my age, but I don't like it. As I've noted in other posts, sleep is hard to come by at 74 years. Anxiety dreams. Point one, work. Two, waiting tables. I was a server for several years. Point three, not knowing any lines and about to go on stage was in community theater for years. Never had to. Problem in real life. But here we are. The plot to a good story. I finished the stand yesterday and was up until 2am on my phone thinking about it and researching. Little things, it floored me and I couldn't recommend it enough. I'm from the Midwest US. Straight thinking about the future, the expectations you'll put up with, how becoming an adult once seemed so interesting, but now you think about the responsibilities and the achievements that are yet to achieve.